Hi, good morning everyone. Yes, I know, I'm back in my local park. But I checked the weather last night and said it's supposed to be snowing pretty heavy this morning. It's literally just starting now, so I'm hoping while I'm out it's going to settle a bit. Uh, I'm not sure what all of these videos are going to be in, because obviously during January we're in lockdown. This is still at the start of the month. So I'm just getting out when I can, just to get some footage so I can upload it as and when, because the way things are at the moment, you never know if something's going to happen or you're not going to be able to get out. And obviously I want to keep some content coming on the channel, so. I mean, there's a couple of reasons why I'm out. Obviously, one, it's snowing. wanted to be out in the snow. or well, hoping it's going to settle. Uh, and two, I wanted to use and review sort of an AOE stove, which is by High Thought Outdoor Equipment. It's a remote canister stove and it's absolutely fantastic, especially in cold weather. And I'll show you why uh, when we set up. So obviously I thought, being as though this is cold, it's supposed to be minus two at the moment. Uh, it's perfect time to test it, so. As you can see, it's looking pretty promising. It's starting to come down more now. I think by the time I set up somewhere, have my coffee, uh, should come back out. It should have settled a bit more, hopefully, so let's get it done. I'm only going to drop my glove while I've been filming, haven't I? Oh, I'm going to walk around this park now and hunt for the glove. Can you see it? No, exactly. Oh, good job I've got these to retrace my tracks. <laughs> Reverse footprints, as at the moment, I think I've seen one person, so. Bonus, absolute bonus. So this is my I thought outdoor equipment cobalt stove. I'll show you this in a lot more detail, but it's a remote canister stove. It's got tripod legs, sits really low to the ground, nice arms and a lovely wide burner head. I thought outdoor equipment logo on it. It's also got a brass preheating tube. So as the gas comes in here, it goes up. When your flame is on, it will heat the gas up there before it gets ignited, so it'll make sure the fuel's vaporised before it gets into the burner head, which obviously in cold weather will help a lot. It's got this brilliant sheath, screw your gas canister onto here, lovely similar control, and also as you can see, you've got this swivel, which allows you to invert your gas canisters. But let's get it going now, let's get, get some coffee on and then you'll see how it works. All I'm using is a Lixada 650ml pot. Like I said, the arms are pretty good, so this pot will fit on perfect, but you, you, you can fit a lot more wider pans than that on there as well. Always make sure your similar control is switched off. Gas canister just goes on nicely. Like I said, with this, it enables you to invert it. So in colder weather, you can have it sitting down like that, which uh, adjusts the mix. But I'm just going to try it like this today to see how it performs just in a, in a normal way. So. Turn the gas on. I'm not sure if you can see that flame, like I said, we'll shoot at a different angle, but you can literally have it roaring. 
or you can have it very, very, very similar. And that's literally nearly going out now. You don't want to have your food cremated. You know, you can have your pan sitting on there, whatever you're cooking, just literally having it simmering. Or you can literally have it roaring. So we won't waste any more gas. Let's get this water boiling. Oh, so nothing fancy today. Just a nice Kenko smooth. Got my trusty titanium spoon, foldable spoon. And yes, I do like my coffee black. What a better way to start your morning. Morning coffee out in the woods. Testing out a new stove, snowing. Correct layers on, not cold in the slightest. Absolutely perfect. Oh. Try something else which is awesome, which a lot of you probably already use anyway, uh, but it's helped me to balance my GoPro today, is this. The little cascade wild foldable table. This thing is awesome. Weighs nothing. Literally folds up to this. Fits in your bag. I know a lot of you have got these. They're uh, very popular, but if you haven't, definitely get yourself one. I got mine from Valley and Peak. I will stick a link in the description. Okay, so one of the most important things you have to do when you do something like this is leave no trace. You can see where I was there. Absolutely nothing. No evidence was there apart from a little bit of snow was moved, uh, which will get covered up anyway. So, obviously, a lot of you that already watch this already do that sort of thing. But if you're new to this channel or you want to have a go at doing this yourself, then always remember if you pack it in your house, you take it back home. Don't leave any litter, no bottles, no wrappers, no nothing. Leave no trace. Then we can all enjoy the great outdoors. Keep nature as beautiful as it is. I mean, look at it. Or would you want to ruin this? a little bit more snow than before then. <laughs> so glad it came out. I mean, look at it now, look. Absolutely awesome. Got to enjoy the snow, review my stove, have a coffee, all the way to start your day. So good with that. Little benches and that. A few people there enjoying the sledges. Can't beat it.
Okay, so I'm gonna sign off now. Um, hope you enjoyed my snowy morning along with me. And more importantly, I hope you enjoyed the high foot outdoor equipment, cobbles and stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go and enjoy the snow a bit now. Stop filming and uh, just enjoy being out here. So stay safe everyone and I'll see you all very soon.